about the 15 minutes as we wait on the arrival of the mayor. So just sit back and enjoy the beautiful songs that you're hearing around you. His Worship, the Mayor, Alderman Junior Regrello, San Fernando City Corporation, the Honorable Glenda Jennings Smith, Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, Ms. Flora Clark, Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security, Major General Retired Rodney Smart, National Coordinator for the National Crime Prevention Program, Ms. Natalie Walters, Communication Manager for the Ministry of Social Development and Family Services. Members of the business community, members of civil society, non-governmental organizations, members of CCC and MyLAT, specially invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the public outreach, fifth public outreach of the National Crime Prevention Program. Before we begin, we will start with safety. So we will now please pay attention for a few moments to the safety briefing for SAPA. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sundarlal Popo Bahara Theatre at the Southern Academy for the Performing Arts. We are making every effort to ensure your comfort and safety. Please take this time to listen to the following announcements. In the event of an emergency, an announcement will be made. You will proceed immediately but calmly to the exit closest to you. Patrons seated at the lower section of the auditorium will proceed to the center exits out of the building to muster at the furthest end of the eastern car park. Patrons seated at the upper section of the auditorium will proceed through the rear exits, down the main staircases, and through the front exits at the lobby to muster at the furthest end of the eastern car park. Eating, drinking, chewing of gum or candy is not allowed in the auditorium. Smoking is not allowed in the building. Photography or other unauthorized audio and video recordings are strictly prohibited. At this time, please turn off all cell phones and other electronic devices. Thank you and do enjoy the following performance. Ladies and gentlemen, let us stand for the national anthem.
remain standing as we start with a prayer. Father, we thank you. We thank you, God, for life. We thank you, God, because you are the creator who have birthed us for a purpose. Father, as we go forward for the National Crime Prevention Program and in the city of San Fernando, we ask, O oh God, that you will continue to cover and guide us, O oh God, in all the direction and decisions that need to be made. We ask, O oh God, that you will put a hand on our leaders and direct them in every way. And we, as citizens of this country, O oh God, that we will take pride, take action where it's necessary, O oh Father, and collaborate to ensure that we do betterment for our nation. In Jesus' name, amen. You may sit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fifth public outreach of the National Crime Prevention Program. And the National Crime Prevention Program is a community-centered initiative. Community-centered means that each and every one of us has a responsibility and has some ownership in this program. And this evening, I'm happy to see, even though we had some challenges with respect to the logistics, that there are numbers out here this evening. It means that we, as citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, and as residents of San Fernando, know that it's important that we have something to say or to do to contribute to the National Crime Prevention Program. And I wish to invite you to give yourself a round of applause for that, for making the extra effort. This afternoon, it's an open activity whereby we will first share with you an overview of the program and then invite you to be able to share and hear from you some of the problems and solutions that you may think are relevant for us to address the issues facing our community. This is about crime prevention. Who better to know the issues in our communities than ourselves? So I know our mayor is wearing many hats this evening, and I want to invite him now to bring opening remarks as the mayor of San Fernando. Thank you very much, Cheryl. The Honorable Glenda Jennings Smith, Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of National Security. Ms. Florette Clark, Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of National Security. Major General Retired Rodney Smart, National Coordinator, National Crime Prevention Program. Mrs. Cheryl St. Louis Felix, Manager of National Crime Prevention Program, Secretariat. Ms. Natalie Walters, Ministry of Social Development and Family Services, all the main and councillors of the San Fernando City Corporation, members of the business community, non-government organizations, faith-based organizations, community-based organizations, representatives of the National Crime Prevention Program, specially invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the members of Council and Administration of the San Fernando City Corporation, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to the team from the Ministry of National Security. To our city and let's please give them a round of applause. <laughs> Both Minister Jennings Smith and Ms. Felix Asheril, Felix and I had the opportunity to visit a couple of cities a few months ago to get an understanding of what is happening. And whereas we may think that things are bad here and that we are referred to as a third world country, you have no idea what we experience in Los Angeles, what we saw there. There are 450,000 homeless persons in LA and crime is 100 times more than what you would think that we have in San Fernando. We in San Fernando are in a, a very fortunate um, compared to what happens elsewhere. And sometimes when we do have serious matters, we 
solve them with a level of urgency. Um, this exercise is to help us, and I'm very happy to see the Greater San Fernando Chamber of, uh, of Business People around San Fernando here this evening because they themselves have had some um, unfortunate experiences within the past couple of months. But the San Fernandians, citizens, business owners, NGOs, teachers, and parents, we are excited to be part of this initiative which seeks to make our city a safer place for all. Crime is undoubtedly the number one issue which plagues our nation. As I have mentioned many times, our city has been blessed to be spared the full brutal rot of criminality in our nation. However, this does not mean we have been left unskated. The continued growth of our city invites both positive economic outcomes, but also inadvertently attract those unscrupulous individuals who would seek to disrupt the relative peace of the city. Many of the plans of the past focused primarily on the planning of the various security forces of our country and has yielded some success. However, what was missing was a more unified, holistic approach in the war on crime in Trinidad and Tobago. There have been numerous exercises and plans that have been targeted to deal with the scourge. But today's initiative engages our citizens in a totally new dimension of which I am certain our combined efforts will maximize its utility to yield success. We are, we are all here in the hope of being able to positively contribute to these new preventatives as a collective. Unified in our desire to bring our community away from this disastrous outlook and to return our nation to the peaceful land that we once knew. I would like to thank everyone here in attendance, both organizers and participants, as you have signaled your commitment towards this noble and worthy exercise. Our nation's motto states, together we aspire, together we achieve. Through this national crime prevention strategy, we live up to our motto, to aspire and achieve in a society that we can proudly pass to our next generation. May we have a productive and insightful meeting and thank you all once again for your participation. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Regrello. And I like where he stated our motto. I now want to invite a young man who has been in the Calypso Arena since 2012, and he's going to perform for us a song called Tomorrow. I know we all want a brighter and better tomorrow. I am now going to invite Mr. Ronaldo London, who is going to perform for us Peace Tomorrow. Songs about tomorrow. I don't know if you know them songs, but from tomorrow is where I get this idea from. Don't put off for tomorrow the things you could do today. I've always heard the elders say. So I sit down and Lord, I start to meditate. How for some people tomorrow may already be too late. Now some may wish that they could get back today. Just a second of the time that they let slip away To study about their ill thoughts and maybes Their perhaps and probabilities I want you to know how you live today would shape tomorrow Now fathers if you teach your sons proper values today Tomorrow we'll have better men cause today we shape them in the right way Today teach them the characteristics of a good man Tomorrow we'll have less deadbeat fathers Right and wrong in temple police vans I say tomorrow, tomorrow Before you think about tomorrow Shape your today and your tomorrow will be okay Oh yeah, I say tomorrow 
tomorrow Before you think about tomorrow Shape your today and your tomorrow will be okay For many tomorrow, but tomorrow may never come Unexpected, they want to the great beyond I forgive you, they never get the chance to say Thinking they'll do it some other day Opportunities lost, may once again be hard to find And procrastination, as you know, yes, that is the thief of time So many things, you wish you could have take back I hate you, you wish my brother, my sister, you wish you never say that So while you sit down, yes you ponder, just like Alice, yes you wonder I think you should know how you live today would shape tomorrow Mr. Gunman, if you put down your guns today Tomorrow you won't see yourself in a casket, in a hearse, passing your way Today if you live by the gun, you're sure to die by the gun Remember from daylight, Mr. Gunman, the night you could never run I say tomorrow, tomorrow, before you think about tomorrow Shape your today and your tomorrow will be okay Tomorrow, tomorrow, before you think about tomorrow, shape your today and your tomorrow will be okay. Look today for what people live their lives in the right way Then no worries tomorrow about what people say Scripture say this is the day that the Lord has made So today for tomorrow I never trade All we problems that we wish we could cast away Won't be problems tomorrow If we find our solutions today Tell me it's today Is today really in your plan? Deal with today in a way today that the world demands. So while you sitting in your corner, just like little Jack Corner, I think you should know how you live today would shape tomorrow. No mothers if today you train your daughters in the right way. Tomorrow we'll have better women cause today. We shape them in the right way Today teach them the characteristics of a woman Tomorrow we'll have less teenage pregnancies Right here in our land I say tomorrow, tomorrow Before you think about tomorrow Shape your today and your tomorrow will be okay Oh yeah, I say tomorrow Shape your today and your tomorrow will be okay Everyone would make mistakes, mistakes are part of life But to fix your mistakes, you shouldn't think twice Don't try to fix today's problems tomorrow If they could be fixed, fix them today You must remember, after all this is said and done As the saying goes, time it will wait on no one Lord the fella, sitting on his way to death row he wishes every second of his time could go back some years ago So while precious time, yes you have it You should never ever waste it By now you know how you live today will shape tomorrow Now lead us if today you lead your nation positively 
tomorrow we sure to see A generation of true leaders here in this country Tomorrow's leaders, today we following in your lead For tomorrow today, you are our leaders And you all have to plant the seed I say tomorrow, tomorrow Before you think about tomorrow Shape your today and your tomorrow will be okay Oh yeah, I say tomorrow, tomorrow Before you think about tomorrow Shape your today and your tomorrow will be okay Thank you very much Thank you Mr. London I think he deserves another round of applause. Very appropriate tomorrow. Because your today that you shape is going to speak to tomorrow. And the National Crime Prevention Program is here today. And you are here today. So that tomorrow we can have some changes. And with that, I know you would have received some volunteer forms and registration forms. So please complete it and return it at front registration desk. Because again, that's how you're going to be making some input into shaping tomorrow. I want to now share with you, before I invite the national coordinator for the National Crime Prevention Program, a video, a short clip of the National Crime Prevention Program. Change is coming to Trinidad and Tobago, and you will lead the movement. Community to community, street to street, house to house, Every classroom, every office, public sector, private sector, big business, small business. Crime prevention is everybody's business. The National Crime Prevention Program is an extremely important part of the structure of Trinidad and Tobago going forward. As we all know, crime is a major issue for every single citizen. This plan, which has had a lot of input from the varying stakeholders, if we expect to be one of the main pillars from a Ministry of National Security point of view. We are concerned about the lives and the quality of life of all of our citizens, visitors to Trinidad and Tobago. And we see this as a very important part of how we intend to deal with the reduction of crime. We're asking communities and citizens to participate as individuals in crime prevention. Look at your community, see what it is in your community that you can take preventative action for. It's not going to be the magic wand, but it is a very, very critical part of how we can all play a role in the reduction of crime. The National Crime Prevention Program, empowering you with the knowledge, skills, and tools to protect yourself, your family, and your community. Prevention is better than cure. You have the right to decide what's acceptable in your community. If you don't, who will? The Ministry of National Security is asking you and each other 